Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit unusual video. Um, we're actually in my garage here for a very specific reason and that reason is we are actually going to put together a hydraulic shop press. Yes, and um, I don't really have a good uh, picture of it. It's kind of like looking like this, but I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a picture right here, right now. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and build in this video. It's not gonna be a tutorial or anything like that. It's just gonna be a building process and perhaps some fast forwarding during the build to speed things up a little bit because this will probably take about uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay, so I already noticed something that is not good at all. Uh, you see that this one is welded in the middle, so there's no chance I can, you know, press this one in this much that is missing. So I'm gonna need to put in some washers here because it's not good to try to uh, screw this together because it's too much, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so this is a little update. It's uh, day number two now. Uh, I actually tried out my new press and uh, it's very weak. Uh, well, the hydraulic jack is not weak, but the construction is very weak. So I needed to do some modifications to it. And uh, let me go ahead and show you what kind of upgrades I did on this. Okay, so first of all, I uh, changed out these two things here to some uh, rectangular pipes. Uh, before that, it was actually this kind of stuff and you can see that it's bent in all different directions and you know cheap Chinese uh, crap I would say also I uh, bought some real uh, steel this is uh, this is just not some cheap Chinese crap because the original looks like this <laughs> It couldn't stand even 10 tons, so uh, the the original press is 12 tons, and this was this is looking like this after I pressed it 10 tons. So you can imagine how cr much of crap this is. So uh, that's pretty much what I did, and now it's working great. I actually pressed out the wheel bearing of. Uh, of my uh, Volvo uh, V70 uh, and um, it works great now um, yeah and this is a 20 ton press right there and this is designed for 12 tons so the construction itself is exactly the same as 20 tons but the difference is actually this particular piece right there uh, now I'm talking from the factory so so yeah that's a uh, that's a great thing. So it's uh, even possible to put these pieces on there uh, for you know whatever you're gonna do. Uh, later on, I will uh, drill some holes and get some bolts to clamp them together. I uh, just have this kind of stuff right now. So yeah, I have a video when pressing in the new. Uh, bearing
that's it guys I uh, hope you like this video and um, this is uh, actually some uh, you know the video maybe can help someone wanting wanting to buy a, a workshop hydraulic press like this and uh, also make the same upgrade uh, as I did uh, with a from a 12 ton hydraulic jack to a 20 ton hydraulic jack it works great you know and after upgrades this is a perfect hydraulic press I mean it's working like a charm now and I can use every uh, 20 tons of the capacity actually so yeah until next time take care now bye bye then